Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing your daily reading. This is daily because I post daily, but it is timeless. So whenever you find this video, that's the right time for you to see it. And that is probably the right moment for you to get the message, okay? Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for joining me today and clicking on this video. Um, Spirit, please help us out. Bring us the most relevant and important messages here for Pisces. I'm going to take the jumping cards. Um, not the ones that flip, just the ones that fall on the table. And if they fly out of the desk, like I'm not going to look for them, okay? So just like, Spirit, like, take that into consideration, please. Messages for Pisces. In the meantime, I invite you guys to like this video and to subscribe if you haven't already. That really means the world to me and it makes such a difference for the channel. First card that we have here, we got the Page of Cups, followed by the Eight of Swords. So I start to feel already, Pisces, a little bit of like emotional sensitivity here in you or in others. Could be about the state of the world. Could be a little bit of a heartache, you know, difficulty for the things that are being experienced in the collective, you know, besides the Pisces one, just like the overall collective of mankind right now some of you may really be experiencing some emotional distress let's just put it that way okay there could be a cancer pisces scorpio person here in your life or this could be your energy showing up to your day-to-day -day with a very naive and sensitive heart lots of compassion generosity kindness and i see you here in a way feeling defeated perhaps by the darkness of the world is almost like you're coming in to this reading with your purest form of light kind of like the light of a child you know that's really what i'm seeing here in this cards and coming in with all of your, you know, open-heartedness and then being met by maybe really tragic things on the news or... And I'm not saying that anything tragic is going to be happening to you. I just feel like there could be an awareness like, oh my god, like, look at all the things that have been happening lately. What happened in this country or that country? Not necessarily involving you, but, you know, it's... Almost as if you get overwhelmed by the state of the world as it is right now. And some of you may start to feel a little bit powerless. However, you're going to have a lot of desire to change and heal. To do what you can to, ch to change the world for the better, okay? There is a saying that goes, you know, all I can do for you is to work on myself. And all you can do for me is work on yourself. So it's kind of like this call to action to help the collective, to help the world, to help the vibration of the whole by working on yourself, by going within, seeing how you are feeling, dealing with past heartache. There could be here also a desire for change that comes and creates this like dynamic, this team, this group of people, this initiative, this cause, even like a charity or something like that, you may start your own sort of like answer, your own way to help the world right now. And with the chariot, you know, there's going to be fast movement forward. You're going to be receiving a lot of support by others. Now, this is not going to apply for all of you. It will apply for some of you. For those of you who want to almost transmute the weight of these experiences and change things for other people, okay? Lots of passion, lots of inspiration. 
However, it may be fleeting, okay? So just take that into consideration before making any like big, big plans or any big commitments. You may feel impossibly inspired right now, but that may fade away. So just make sure that you use that energy in a way that serves you and it doesn't hinder you, okay, in the future. All right, I'm going to do a Celtic cross. Let's just see what else is showing up here, Pisces. Not all messages are going to be for you. Some messages are for other Pisces watching, okay? So I'm going to be pulling lots of cards, and some of the messages will be for you. I invite you to check out everything in the description box below. There are news and cities and very interesting surprises there things that you might like, so you can go ahead and check those out as well. You know, all the links, all the invitations there. The Lovers, first card showing up here. Choices, love, romance, partnership, relationships. As we can see here, it's a mirror. So in your connections, you may be finding yourself being mirrored by other people's actions, reactions, Thoughts, desires, etc. There's a lot of like polar opposites that are coming through in this reading. So it's, you know, as I mentioned earlier, like the Page of Cups being a very like sweet, naive, um, innocent energy. And then being met kind of like by the Three of Swords, you know, which is a very um, experience-based heartache. Now we see here the Lovers, and we see here the Devil. Something is healing, and something here is being reborn. That's what I'm getting, okay? With the Temperance card, Pisces, you can give yourself permission to let things fall where they may. You don't have to have control over everything all the time. You don't have to feel like the problems of the world are yours to solve. Yes, you can help. Yes, things can get better with your participation, that's for sure. You can make a powerful impact. But just know that it does not all rest on your shoulders. Okay, Pisces? There's definitely an awareness that has come in. Maybe related to Capricorn or, you know, Capricornian energy. We see here someone who's trapped. We see someone who is... This is kind of like a mermaid who's very debilitated inside of a cage. And then we see here a mermaid underwater, you know, thriving in its beautiful environment. So it's stepping out of a space in which you were held prisoner, you know, you were disempowered and coming into a state in which you can be in your element, in which you can flow, in which you can be you know, everything that you know you want to be in life and do everything you know you want to do in life as well. It seems like a set of injustices opened your eyes for you to evaluate everything that is fair and just in your life or, you know, things that are not fair and just. It's like something made you reevaluate everything. And in the future, your choices are going to be better. You're going to be more informed, okay? There's going to be an awareness that there are people out there that can love you the way that you love. That there are people out there who can support you the way that you support, who can be as good of a friend as you are to them, to you. And it's kind of like opening yourself up to something more balanced, interactions that are more balanced here. 
Also, opening yourself up to gifts, um, prices, money coming in different ways. If you're opening some kind of charity or so, some kind of like collective cause project or something, you're going to be receiving a lot of support, financial support too. But something here definitely is born out of discomfort. It's like emotional discomfort, heartache, a challenge, feeling emotionally fulfilled, generates an action, a movement, a change. But Spirit is telling you here, you may feel all the passion in the world, all the fire in the world, but make sure that you don't overcommit yourself, that you don't bite off more than you can chew, that you don't use that fire and almost burn yourself with it. They're telling you here, be very cold when you make the decisions. Put your emotions aside for a moment. Observe the facts, the dates, the numbers, the um, uncomfortable truths, okay? You're invited here to make sure that you're seeing everything properly. Because you're definitely seeing the, the movement, the inspiration, the pool, the magnetism, the, the that fire that almost takes over. That, all of that, you're very clearly connected to. But you also need to be very clearly connected to all the objective, kind of like um, non-emotional aspects before making a long-term long decision, okay? Right now, it seems like everyone is trying to find a solution for something. And everyone is trying to do it differently, you know, in their own way. Maybe everybody's starting um, some kind of you know, initiative, and they may all be different. And in this case, what they're telling you here is that it is absolutely okay. You do not have to create a united front is what I'm getting. Like, you don't have to make sure to be a united front. In this particular case, whatever this may be for you, Pisces, if this reading is resonating, it's okay to just um, contribute in any way that makes sense to you. And everybody doing that in small ways will ultimately affect the kind of like the outcome of everything because around there is a need for love there is a lot of energy of love wanting to be cha channeled as well so it's like everyone coming together for um the protection of something the improvement of something the rescue of something all of that energy of love in the surrounding and the environment is taking shape in different ways through different people. Six of Cups showing up here in your hopes and fears. Some of you want to maybe protect children, innocence. Some of you may want to connect to people from the past, people you've known maybe in childhood or teenage years or things like that. But you also may be a little bit resistant to, to that. It's like, for example, let's say that you want to work with people that you know in childhood. It's like, yeah, that's going to be awesome because we know each other. But then at the same time, it's like, but will it though? Like, what if it gets trickier because of that? And the equivalent of that example in, you know, many different things. With the Knight of Swords, it seems like you're going to battle, even if you don't feel ready. It seems like you are definitely, you and a lot of other people, chart, if this feels kind of like a protest, this feels like um, you saying no, you going against the system in different ways, creative ways, everybody coming up with something a little bit last minute to, you know, counter some kind of injustice, Very strong drive, motivation, inspiration, unstoppable force. Just the only message here is make sure that you don't get yourself into a situation that when you don't feel this angry or when you don't feel this frustrated or energized for that matter, you will still like the decisions that you make. Like don't make decisions that you're going to regret once that passion boils down a little bit. Because it seems like it's very heightened, it's very fiery. 
there's a, a need for change that is almost urgent. Canary Spirit, sing your own song. Sing your own song, song pieces. You'll know what that means. And avoid being kind of like the the sacrificial lamb or whatever. Every time I get this card, I think of the canaries that they would take into mines and how like if there was some kind of like lack of oxygen down and underground in the mines or if it was like some kind of chemical, I don't know what it was. Um, if it was something uh, harmful for humans, the cannery that they took would die, right? Go upside down. And that's how they knew that the air wasn't breathable and they would get out of the line. So it was kind of like the sacrificial lamb, right? And in this case, I feel like they're telling you that. Like, you don't have to be that sacrificial lamb. You can do this in a way that serves you. You can do this in a way that is not only beautiful to you, but also comfortable to you and make a change. Okay, you don't have to succumb to another person's idea. You can create your own if that is what you're feeling. Alright, my loves. So this is what I have for you in this one. I hope that these messages resonated with you. If they didn't, if this was not your reading, that's perfectly fine. Know that there are other readings on the channel I'm posting almost daily. Um, and on the weekends I post a lot of readings. So you're going to find what you need to find in the channel. Guide yourself with your intuition and the titles of the videos. And you're going to feel the energetic pull for the one that will really help you out with whatever it is that you need help with. In the description box, I'm going to leave all relevant links and all the cool stuff that I would love to share with you. So you can go ahead and check that out. And I will see you in the next reading. Bye, my loves.